Hello folks and welcome to the TM and TG YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Woody and I've got an exciting one for you today. Something that we've been waiting for, the video I've been waiting to do and that's to tell you how I got lights and power into this workshop or shed. So I'd like to get the obligatory YouTube spiel out of the way. You know, the uh, like this video, the subscribe, the share, all that stuff. But in seriousness, if you like the video, it does help this channel out. We're a smaller channel and uh, we're kind of trying to make our way up. And the only way we're going to be able to do that is by interaction from all of you. So please consider hitting the like button if you like the video. If not, don't sweat it. Also, subscribe because we're gonna have more cool content. I actually released a Craftsman Table Saw Review video just recently, and uh, we also have more plans coming up. I'm gonna release a video about building some cornhole boards, and real soon you're gonna see a video where we break down where are your tools made. So subscribe for all that content. Now, let's get to it. All right, folks, you're gonna have to give me a little bit of a break. This workshop is pretty dirty uh, and cluttered, but I'm working on it. So I got the lights and I just wanted to show you, we're gonna be talking about, as I had mentioned, how did we get these lights to turn on in the shed? In addition to these light, this light, these lights, it's really just one. In addition to that, we also have a plug. Two plugs really and a switch so we can turn the lights off turn them on we can actually even run my hitachi now known as metabo power saw ah sorry for that for the noise so how did we do this? <clears throat> that is what the point of this video is. How did I get this in there? And really, I didn't want a lot of different, uh, I don't need a lot of plugs, you know? I, I use a lot of battery operated stuff, but I use some corded stuff. And so I needed a place mainly for this miter saw to be able to plug in. And then obviously lights, lights always help. Okay, so I've showed you folks the light, showed you folks the switch and the outlet. Now I'm gonna show you the inlet, where the power comes from. This is on the side of the building that is actually facing my house. I'm gonna show you why that is there, but it is an inlet plug and you run your actual wire from this plug. I should have taken video before I, I electric taped it up, but I did not, so I'm sorry. However, there are three wires, three bare wires in this Romex. You've got a ground, you've got a black, and then you got your white. So you got your hot and your neutral and a ground. And they literally just plug right in to three holes in the back of this thing. It is super easy to hook up. It really is is foolproof. And then I just wire taped everything up real nice. And I also used these wire staples attach my wires to my two by fours I do not plan on having drywall in this shed ever so I didn't need to drill holes I just ran it along the side my Romex just ran it all along with those staples really they're called something else I've got them over here maybe I should tell you guys the actual name of them Staples, MM cable staples. So here those are right here, MM cable staples. These are what I used. Obviously I used some Romex to run it. I got the wire running across here. We have one going down to the switch in the outlet. And then it comes back from the outlet up to the light to run the light. So that's how we did it, folks. That is how we ran the power within the shed. So now I'm gonna go over that plug that I just showed you. I kept the package. Okay, so now I wanna go over the actual plug 
that inlet plug I showed you earlier where the wires run into. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you this plug. I don't know how easy these are to get. I got this at like an outdoor world, outdoor camping store. I'll put the name of the store, not the location, but what the store is called in the description. I will also try to see if I can find this plug, but this is made for like RVs and boats so that you can plug power into your boat or your RV. You can run an extension cord, basically bring Parkside power to your RV is what it says on this thing and it's 15 amp 125 volts made by park power i think i think this thing i think this thing was actually 20 bucks i might be wrong on that it's been a while since i picked this up so i apologize but it uses a standard three prong household style plug easy to install watertight cap uv corrosion resistant construction which is good so i will see like i said if i can put find this and put this in the description for everybody but this is what i use you can get it at a lot of camping stores it's just an inlet for an rv that's all it is so you i think y'all should be able to find it maybe do you know a little research of your own every now and then all right so what you do is you plug an extension cord which i'll show you the one i have you plug the extension cord into the house on the outside wall and then you actually just plug this right into this plug it's got a ground get you an extension cord that matches obviously bam you have just hooked power from your house to your your shed or workshop without digging any holes no trenches none of that crazy stuff all for right around $200. For the construction cord, you're gonna wanna get a decent construction contractor grade cord. I would not use anything else to be honest. So this is a 12 3 15 amp. And that's what you that's what you're gonna probably want is 12 gauge. That should do you. Get you a 12 gauge extension cord. You know, I don't remember how much this was either, but I think it was about 50 bucks. All said and done, I think the whole project is $200 or something like that. All right, folks, so we're coming to the end of the video, and that is it. That's how I ran power to my little workshop shed. It's a 10 by 16 foot building. If you have not watched the video, I have five parts to how I built this workshop. I highly recommend you go check those out. You know what, I think I'll go ahead and link them in the description for you. You're welcome. And then also check out our other videos, the Craftsman Table Saw Review. There's a lot of cool things coming folks, so please subscribe, hit that notification bell. You don't wanna miss out. Also, if you did enjoy this, if you like this information, if you like ingenuity, out of the box thinking, hit that like button, I'd appreciate it. With that, thank you for watching the TMNTG YouTube channel. I hope you all consider sticking around and joining our tribe. That is all.